guys, brothers in arms, we're going to do a spacey score on this table and I can tell you right now, this table gives me the goosebumps. <laughs> it really does. Well, uh, we'll score it all when we get to the end of it, but you know, it's an amazingly good theme with this war theme here done so well all right let's get into the gameplay love how that shoots the ball out with that gunshot shoot the main targets and then the sinkhole to start a mission so we've got to get these targets up here around the side here we've got some ramps to go for we'll take some of these out oh guys this this music almost makes me want to tear up those targets oh I've got to get used to pushing the, the buttons for nudge guys pull the timp timpani drums nice little flipper there on on the right and of course we've got the other one up the top there's four flippers going on that's quite nice one more up there It came in a little bit abruptly there, but all right, we've got a mission, guys. Gonna do the air raid because this is just a sensational thing to start with. Just, I love this. A nice little DMD animation, good call out, and then look at this shakes the table. Buildings are on fire. We're in the dark. Air raid siren. Doesn't get much better, guys, when you're looking at virtual pinball. And you know, this is, yeah, we'll, we'll get, we'll, we'll talk about this after, but this to me is really nicely done. Drop down the guts. Got some rain effects coming down. Wow. You can choose a different skill shot value here too, and it changes the extra ball progress. Um, but I actually don't know what difference that makes in terms of difficulty in getting it, and obviously I missed it there anyway. Okay, we've got to get a try go up through the middle there. Oh, whoops. Ooh. My fault. I'm gonna try that little flipper. Alright, so we got another one. Um, we did the air raid, it was short, but got the idea. Let's do infiltration. And it's cool that the buildings are still burning, guys. <laughs> That's what I like. Oh, oh! Nudged the wrong way. Ah! Didn't get to see that much. This little guy came out from, from the side though. Got to sneak up, I believe, in that mode, if I remember correctly. Well, that's a game over, but we are playing again for sure. Cool little animation on the DMD for this game too, guys. The Jeep here running around. All adds to it. All right, let's see if we can do a little bit better. Oh, I think I had to, I think I had to get there, straight there, right, for the skill shot, but anyway, I stuffed that up. Get 
those targets again. Oh wow! Fall <laughs> in for a sec, guys. <laughs> Got to get some more nudging happening, guys. That was short-lived. Oh. Ah! Oh boy. Now I'm trying to get those side ones, but one more up there, we might just start the mode again. Get back in there once more. Oh! Do those rollovers very well. Post. That little flipper. Ah! Painful to watch, guys. No. If I get those rollovers, oh, I keep missing them. Okay, let's try infiltration again because that was poor effort. And you see we don't have the buildings burning because we didn't have the air raid. Okay, oh, damn it. <laughs> damn, damn straight. Wow. Failed again, guys. I got killed in battle. <sighs> Man, I've been not on the rollovers today. There's one. <laughs> hey! Got a kick back. Aya! Straight down the guts, guys. Oh boy. <laughs> Came over again. It's killing me. Literally. Come on. We'll go again. We will go again. Come on, come on guys. Let's make this a better game. I'm trying to get that little flipper off the off the start there. I'm not timing that well at all. It sort of oh delays. There's that little issue off the bottom uh, bottom sling. I'm gonna talk about that one day guys. I reckon you're gonna see me do a lot of that and I'm not sure if it's because a little extra lag and I'm a bit late on the shot but it happens far too many times for my liking just generally across all Zen tables all right we got the music back boys let's go boys and girls and all. Come on. <laughs> Said it before guys, so that I like I like it when it's challenging the the pinball physics now in these originals. So much nicer than the old floaty zen physics. Feels like a pinball machine. It's awesome. Now with these custom tables, having it set up like this, oh, and 
cabinet mode like this is as good as good as getting a, a new stand guys in the virtual world at least you know and with all the added cool added effects Fall in for a sec, guys. pretty sure that hit that sling mm. not sure if I was to blame for that one oh crap it's game over again guys I'm doing it again going again <laughs> going again one more one more okay <laughs> that's so that's so cool. Love the sound of the aeroplane there too. Abysmal score. Oh. I got it back but I think you're seeing that problem guys that I'm experiencing and that is too many balls flicking off the bottom of the slings and draining trying to work it out if it's lag again it's not just this table so it's not a table problem all right uh, let's try bridge this time Okay, we got some multi ball happening here. <laughs> the great call outs. This is just crazy, guys. <laughs> oh man, the play sounds, the bombs. Gun shooting on the, my bottom left. The gun shooting out from the slings. Okay. Oh, lost that one. Oh! <laughs> that was crazy good. get it get it back in and we'll turn this down guys and we shall do a spacey score on this table <laughs> genuinely wow genuinely wow for this table and cranked up you know crank up the sounds again I can't imagine what this will be like either 
if hopefully eventually we get some API calls and can have um, DOF effects and have the cabinet shaking and just like going nuts, uh, it's it's already good. Um, even surround sound force feedback would make this particular table shine like crazy. All right, we've got to go through the spacey scores, guys. We're going to start off with theme. It's a war theme. You know, you don't get many sort of pinballs actually sort of just go straight out of war. It's always sort of like fantasy, aliens out in space shooting and stuff like that. Um, trying to think of like other tables that are just really purely war themed. And I'm struggling. And so this theme and it translating well for a pinball game and uh, especially a virtual pin with all the effects and uh, spot on. Like this theme is is great um, oh, and everything comes together on it I, I you know it's one of those things when you're scoring out of 10 guys it's like when do you give the tens uh, but I think the theme here is, it's just spot on like it just yeah so I'm I'm gonna oh. no I'll give it a nine I'll give it a nine guys Give it a nine, and the reason why is, is if we talk about atmosphere, the next thing, this game has oodles of atmosphere. I think that's that's where actually this table deserves a ten. Uh, that that last mode there, and the call outs, and like it was, it felt like I was getting into a battle. Uh, it was that was just so good, and just the whole, again the whole thing comes together in terms of atmosphere. So atmosphere is a, a clean out ten. I think the interestingly the layout on this table uh, in terms of it translating well for a pinball table in the way that it's laid out um, could this be a real pin absolutely uh, this is really nicely designed guys it's it feels really good I actually sort of forget that it's a zen you know um, you know themed original it's it's um, you know, license original rather, I should say. It feels like a pin. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a, a nine for layout. Table artwork. I like this cool sort of, what's that, Pantone uh, that they had on the graphics on the guy there. The colors and everything are just so suited for this war table. Again, it's, it's, the palette is really nice. Um, there's some subtleties in here I, not the buildings I mean the buildings work really nicely when you're having all those explosions and stuff this but they're not super great around the edges it's a tough one here guys because it's not there's not oodles of different like art on here's a lot of plain stuff but that suits the theme perfectly I can't knock this down though because it looks really really nice I'm, I'm actually going to give it a solid nine still yep for artwork love it all right animations um animations are so, so cool i love the shaking tables the bomb drops the, the uh the parachute coming down the, the shooting like all of that guys it's all it's all engaging it's all in the right places it's not you know some animations can be just a little bit like they're tacked on um, especially even with some of the Williams tables you can find that sometimes it's just like an add, add a bit of animation all of this works really really nicely with the table so full props to the animation team the guys that did that guys and girls whoever did that and I'm going to give that a solid nine as well on animations the graphical effects um, the overall effects and on top of those animations they're all really well done they're really well done with sound um, I think I'll give it an 8 for that because it, it just it sat in there nicely but yeah it wasn't over over the top or anything amazing in terms of the actual graphical effects but very very good the lighting is a difficult one guys um, the table is actually a little bit flat if I just start it this in, in cabinet mode anyway it's 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 quite flat it's a bit of a shame. I'm not sure how much it can be improved because it's still it's still nice, but tonally it's all quite flat. Um, it doesn't look 
sort of, you know, really 3D and enhanced 3D. So unfortunately, it's let down a little bit on the lighting. It's not as good as some other tables. I'm going to have to mark it quite down and give it um, give it a six. Six for lighting. Um, DMD, really nice. Uh, nice little uh, progressions in there, little scene, cut scenes that come in. Uh, this white on the grey is actually quite hard to, to, to read. That's only a little small problem there. Uh, helps with the gameplay, tells you what to do. Uh, I, you know, it, 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 yeah, and, the, and the opening scene animation is pretty good. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to give it an 8. I'm going to give it a solid 8. It's, again, one of the, the new DMDs as well, which is pretty awesome. All the, all the colouring and graphics and stuff. Now, music. Another killer. This particular table is wow on the music um, I got you know right up there with Kong uh, with that, that track I thought was really good I think this is even better um, I can't you know it, it does it, it actually gives me goosebumps and and as I said I've got a bit of a tear in my eye guys like it's really good it's really that good uh, not sure if I can give it a straight 10 though because still came in what came in a bit harshly at one point and I still think there's a little thing that then needs to improve in relation to how music morphs and changes between modes and mixes in uh, but it's very very good on this table and I can't deny that and it gave me the shivers so I'm, I'm gonna gonna give it a nine for sure sound effects <laughs> so perfect for this table every single sound effect is perfect like it's just really really good I'm not wanting anything more I don't want different sounds you know the gunshots and and just explosions and like all of that's just done super super well um, could it be better and you know I, and, and this is what I've got to ask myself each time when I get right up at the top end on a table that's this good uh, I don't think it can in terms of all the sound effects so I'm going to give that a straight 10 for the sound effects call outs really really good like really good and that's saying something because often a lot of the call outs and send tables I don't know that's a challenging area and very very hard to get right but wow when those you know the call out especially in those modes when the modes went off and they're calling out like it just felt like I was in a war movie it was that good so yeah guys, I'm, gu I'm clearly gushing, I <laughs> make no excuses for it, because uh, this table is, is really, really well done. So yeah, um, I'm going to give the call outs in this, oh, they do, they, they, work, they work so well with everything, I'm going to give it a 9, I'm going to give it a 9 and that's, that's, that's big for call outs. Flow, flow was generally very good. Um, it's probably just my skill with that flipper over this side, uh, but it's 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 nice with that flipper there and that flipper there and the loops and shots through the middle here. It flows like a really good table should. I think that's a good solid eight, guys, on the flow. Uh, the shot interest. You know, I was banging away trying to get these a bit. I should have probably gone a little bit more for the ramps and around the side here for the drop targets, but there's plenty going on in terms of interest in shots. Um, yeah, I'd give it, you know, a, a good ooh, seven. Is it harsh? I think it is. I, don't, I, I feel like I'm giving this table so many, I've just got to calm myself a little bit and just go, is it really a, a seven or an eight? I think it's an eight. It's an eight. The shot interest, challenge, really, really good challenge, as you could see. Uh, it's getting knocked around. Uh, I want to come back and, and you know, and, and get back into it because of the challenge. And so, yeah, the challenge is right up there. Easily a good eight for me for challenge. I love it. Uh, getting into the physics feel, now interesting, now I'm not going to mark them down necessarily for the strange flipper thing that's hitting the bottom of the slings and draining, it's just seeing it's happening too much in my games, I don't know what's going on there with the, flip, uh, with the physics there, but um, let's get away from that, 
the overall feel is very good again possibly a little, little light like the ball flies around maybe just a little too easy although i did have some str struggles getting up this ramp interestingly that ramp doesn't look 3d in terms of it being very high but it was tough getting up there uh, but again just in the cabinet view um, but yeah like it all felt other than the the problem i had down here that it all felt really good from a physics point of view uh, I think again we'll sort of give that a sol again a solid eight. There's no no major problems there. Uh, fun factor. It's funny actually. I you know this was such a a moody theme and the challenge and stuff. Uh, it still it still had me smiling. It had me smiling when those uh, modes kicked in and seeing those effects. So that actually is really hard to pull off on such a theme. Um, but this is the sort of table that I'd easily show other people and get them involved with from a fun point of view. So it's going right up there and well done and getting a high fun uh, score on this. So it's going to get an 8 on the fun side of things. Pretty high for this sort of theme table, I think. Replayability, <laughs> without a doubt, going to keep coming back to this table. Going to keep going to kind of come back to it, challenge everything, those modes... A little thunder that's going on at the moment, and you just have this sitting here in the background, the rain coming down. And that's just me looking at it, it's not me playing it, guys. But the actual replayability here is strong, and with the good layout, it plays like a pin, looks like a pin, shoots like a pin. I'm giving it a nine replay because it's going to be up there with my top ones for replayability that's for sure and then the spaces x factor as i've said before this is always something a bit of a bonus and uh starting from zero and notching up it would you know normally be one or two points depending on the table going all the way up to 10 is, is a big ask for the x factor um but this has really good x factor in terms of its ability to pull all the elements together so, so well, so convincingly. Uh, so, you know, to me, that's worth at least two or three X Factor points. I uh, really do like what happens in the modes and the shaking of the table and the, you know, the, the fire and the buildings are on fire and they carry on that way and through into the next modes. It's all... There's probably another couple there, so I'm going to I'm going to give this one a five on the X Factor guys, and again, that's uh, it's got to be some pretty special tables that get, get high on that last rating. So there you go, guys. That is the wrap up. That is the spacey score for Brothers in Arms by Zen Studios in cabinet mode. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.